In this video, I'm going to show you how to freeze tracks without effects in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here with a multi-track, multi-miked drum kit. We have kick, snare, toms, overheads, and rooms. Let's hear what it sounds like now. As you can tell, I've cut up all the drums. Let's zoom in. So each transient is on the grid. So it's edited really tight based on each transient and moved and crossfaded to be perfectly on the grid. But what we're left with is all these little audio files or media items. And if our computer isn't very fast and there's a lot of tracks in this project, it can be hard for a solo computer to keep up to play back all these little audio files from different parts on our hard drive. So to make it easier, we probably want to consolidate these tracks, which means creating one file or media item per track. And one way we could do that is using the glue items feature. We could select all the tracks, select all, right click, and go down here and choose glue items. And that creates one file per track, making it easier for a computer to play back these files, avoiding all the crossfades and the little audio files or media items. But there's one problem with this method. Let's say I messed up one of the crossfades. Zoom in. Let's say we messed it up right over here. I put it over here instead. And if we glued it all together, there's no way to fix it later as our edits are no longer adjustable. So that method isn't going to work. Another way we could do it is by freezing our tracks. If we go to our kick drum right here, notice it's mono. We could right click it and go down here to render freeze tracks. And right down here, we could freeze our tracks and make each track one audio file or media item. We could choose mono, stereo, or multi-channel. Let's choose mono for the kick. And it renders that file, one file on that track. And we could do that for each one of our drum tracks. But notice, if we go to our effects on the kick, there's no effects on that track. And if we unfreeze the track, right click, unfreeze tracks, we could see I had effects on this track. I had a compressor and an EQ on our kick. So if we freeze the track, it consolidates that track to one audio file, but it also prints or renders the effects on the track, which we probably want to adjust during our mix. And now we can't. So let's undo that. Let's go to the effects on the kick. And there's another way we could freeze this track. If we right click in here, we can go to freeze track. Not only can we freeze mono, stereo, and multi-channel, we could also do it up to the last selected effect. So if we choose our compressor and right click, go to freeze track, freeze track to mono, up to last selected effect, it froze that track the same way, but it's still printed our compressor. It didn't print the EQ, but now we lost the ability to adjust our compressor. But we could still use this feature to get the result we want. Let's undo it again. Now we have the compressor back and the EQ. So now we can add a dummy effect to get what we want. Let's add a new effect to this track. Just choose a plugin that doesn't use any processing and it won't change the sound of our kick. I tend to use a metering plugin. I'll use the dynamic range meter, and then we'll put it at the top above the other plugins we want to keep. Then I like to rename it so I know what it's doing or the purpose we're using it for. Right click, rename effects instance. I'm going to call it freeze tracks only. 
and I did it in all caps. This way the name jumps out to me. Hit OK. Now it shows up right here. We could also bypass it as we're not really using the effect. We just want to make sure it's the first effect in the chain. So now we can right click this effect and use that feature. Freeze track. We'll freeze track to mono up to the last selected effect. Again, it's the dummy effect we chose. Choose this. And now it printed or rendered our kick, but we can still adjust our compressor and EQ on this track. And if we notice a bad edit on the drums, we can just right click the track, go to render freeze tracks, and unfreeze the track. And then it goes back to the way it was before, where we could still edit our drums and fix any glitches we made. And we could do this to every track on the drums, just by duplicating this dummy effect to all the drums. And we could do this quicker in the mixer. Shows up right here. Just drag it over to each one of our drum tracks and just repeat this for each track. Go to our kick, select it, freeze to mono, but the last selected effect. And now we did the kick. And just repeat it for the snare. Freeze it to mono. Do the same with the toms, but we're gonna freeze this to stereo as the tom track is stereo. And the overheads, also stereo, and the same with the rooms. And now, all our tracks are consolidated, all the little audio files are gone, leaving us one file per track but we still have the effects on our tracks. We have our compressors and EQ on each one of our tracks. As we can see right here. And if we wanna go back and re-edit the drums, just select them all, right click, go to render freeze tracks, and just unfreeze the tracks. And it goes back to the way it was before we consolidated the drums. So we could zoom in and fix our edits, just like that. And we're done, just refreeze the tracks, and we're back to one file per track, making it easier on our computer or a hard drive, but still giving us the flexibility of adjusting our effects on each one of our tracks. And we could unfreeze it at any point if we need to. Now obviously, this doesn't just have to be used for drums. It will work with any source where we cut up the items and have a bunch of tiny audio files that are too much for a computer to handle, but just kind of annoying to work with. So that's pretty much it. That's how to freeze tracks without effects in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.